Sun Tzu's The Art of War is an ancient Chinese treatise that holds significant importance and relevance both in its historical context and in today's times. It was written around the 5th century BC and its relevance stems from its profound insights into strategy, tactics, and the nature of conflict. That includes psychology, military, politics, all of it kind of wound in together. And here's why it was really especially important during its time and why it's still important today. In terms of its historical impact, during this time, China was frequently tied up in warfare among various states and dynasties. So Sun Tzu's work provided the systematic approach to warfare that was revolutionary for its time. It offered different strategies and tactics that could help generals and rulers achieve victory and maintain power. And it's very important to point that out, generals and rulers. The strategies outlined in the art of war were successfully employed by military leaders in ancient China, which contributed to the unification of China under the Qin Dynasty. Sun Tzu's work was considered essential reading for military leaders and rulers in ancient China, and its influence really extended beyond military into politics in general, diplomacy, and even in business. So despite being written millennia ago, the principles outlined in the art of war remain remarkably relevant. Its teachings are not just limited to military strategy, but they can be applied to so many different aspects of life, like business, politics, even personal development and communication. A lot of marketers study the art of war for tactics and strategy ideas. The emphasis on understanding one's strengths and weaknesses and the importance of planning and preparation, the value of adaptability and deception, also the significance of knowing the terrain are all timeless principles that Sun Tzu used. His insights into the psychology of warfare and the importance of leadership, the necessity of disciplined and well-trained forces continue to be important today. It's very important to contemporary military strategists and leaders to have all of these things, a very well-trained military. So this book is even studied today in some U.S. military academies. In the modern world, where conflicts take diverse forms, including things like geopolitical rivalries, economic competition, asymmetric warfare, and when I talk about asymmetric warfare, I'm talking about warfare that seems to be drastically two-sided, like one really big superpower and one really small guy, sort of like a, a giant and a child kind of thing. Let's talk about uh, perhaps uh, Russia and Ukraine in this particular instance. The principles from the art of war remain highly relevant in those kinds of instances. It's about taking what you've got and making the most of it. Businesses often draw up on these kinds of strategies for that very reason. They use it to navigate competitive markets or difficult situations, anticipate the moves of a rival business and to capitalize on opportunities, which is what Sun Tzu's book is all about. Concepts like competitive intelligence, strategic positioning, effective leadership, and all of those things put together find direct parallels in the corporate world today. So it's not just about warfare. Diplomats and negotiators also find Sun Tzu's teachings using principles of strategy and persuasion uh, very favorable to uh, get good outcomes in terms of negotiations and international relations. In terms of leadership and management, the art of war isn't just about conflict. It's also about leadership and management. The emphasis on leadership qualities, such as vision, decisiveness, adaptability, and the ability to inspire others and to inspire their loyalty remains relevant for all sorts of leaders, uh, military, business, political. The art of war underscores the importance of understanding human nature, and psychology, which is valuable for leaders in 
all walks of life, whether you're guiding a team, resolving a conflict, or working to achieve a goal. So in essence, the art of war endures because it offers timeless wisdom on strategy, leadership, conflict resolution, and all of those things transcend its original context. These principles continue to influence military thinking, business strategy, and leadership philosophy today, which makes it a timeless classic.